viewers thank you for watching our videos and subscribing to our channel excel free today i'm going to be talking about one of the interesting features of excel known as conditional formatting i'm sure we are all aware of the basic conditional formatting the basic highlighting cell rules the top bottom rules that's there uh, as you can see on my screen i am you know scrolling through all these options but what i want to share with you today is how do we highlight a selection of columns or in other words how do we highlight a row basis a formula or basis a condition if that is satisfied the row will be highlighted so these are exactly two similar tables the condition i have is that if the marks obtained in this particular range uh is greater than the average then uh that particular row that is from column a to d should be highlighted in a specific color now you may say that this is very easy nitika let's go about and select this data set go to conditional formatting and in top bottom rules you will find above average okay you're absolutely right but did i want it for the student roll number no i actually wanted it for the marks obtained okay you can still go ahead and say no problem sadaka highlight the marks obtained go to conditional formatting go to above average it's highlighted or if you want a custom format pick up a custom format okay but these are only cells which have been highlighted these are not the rows or columns a to d which have been highlighted right Now let's go and see what happens in the manage rule section. This is a manage rule section and here it shows the apply to area. Even if I go ahead and change my apply to area here and change it to the entire section, still this is not really going to work because immediately the focus shifts to student roll number that being the highest number. But this is not exactly what we want, right? So let's see how will we go about it. I am selecting this entire data set towards the right hand side. I go to conditional formatting, go to manage rules and I can click on a new rule here. Now, uh there are various rule types mentioned over here, but I am picking the one, last one which says use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I will be writing in a formula here which says is equal to if this cell which for me is j5 and i'm just removing the dollar sign before 5 because i want system to check each and every entry within this range and not only restricted to 5 row however i'm fixing j because i wanted to check the values only in the j column so my condition is going to evaluate if j as a column and each of the row entries starting from the 5th row till 20th row satisfies this condition or not so i'm saying j5 is greater than average of this range right this is what our condition is now let's go ahead and pick a formatting color and i'm picking a lighter shade over here so that it becomes easy for us to you know distinctify okay this is selected if you can see my entire range that i had initially selected of the data is the one that is coming in here for the apply to range i can go ahead and change this range i can you know extend this i can squeeze this that's completely my choice after i'm done with this i just need to click on the apply tab and click okay and i can see all my values which are greater than average have been highlighted and let's just cross check quickly and find okay what is the average of this range Mm, okay and average of the range is 55 the alternate way for me to have checked this was to just select this range and at the bottom it shows okay 55 is the average so i can see all the values which are greater than 55 not equal to but greater than 55 have been highlighted now if i want to change the area where i've applied it i just need to go back here go to my manage rules section it shows the rule let me say i want to extend this to k as a column i just click on apply and okay 
the selection or the highlighting has extended. Now this is a much more powerful, much more impressive way of presenting your data uh, using a conditional formatting because you can highlight the specific things that you really want to talk out in your data. Isn't it true? Do follow the steps that we did just now, uh, do practice them. Reach out to me if you think you need some kind of support on this. Do subscribe to my channel Excel Freak and you can also mark in a mail to me at msxl.freak at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great evening guys. Bye bye.